Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is about our DevOps project too. So we will be seeing more about it in, in this video and also the coming videos. Okay, so this is going to be an awesome video where we are going to, you know, deploy a container using Docker, a containerization tool. Okay, so and after building the image, we are going to push that image to the Docker Hub. Okay, Docker Hub is just like your GitHub repository, right? So in GitHub repository, we uh, you know store our source codes, right? So in the same way, Docker Hub is a re is a repository where you can store all your images, right? So whatever the images that you have built, you will be storing that in the Docker Hub. So there are many functionalities for Docker Hub, but our main intention in this project would be to store docker images in docker hub okay so let's see what is what is the project that we are trying to build in this video okay all right so this is the project that we are trying to build okay so we are going to build and push docker image to our docker hub with the automation using jenkins okay so this is the entire project architecture okay so we store our source code in github okay by using jenkins jenkins is a ci cd tool we are going to pull the code and after pulling the code we are going to build the docker image okay inside the jenkins server after building the image we are going to push it to the docker hub so docker hub is a you know kind of a github where it stores or it stores all your docker images okay so this is what we are trying to do with complete automation we are not going to do it manually but to understand how things work you need to manually do it first and then go with the automation so i can easily go and automate it right away but i want you guys to understand what goes behind the scenes okay so for this project if you want to achieve this project you need to have these requirements these are simple requirements okay first things first of course we need to have a sample application it can be any application but i've considered flask python application okay so next thing is docker file so you already know if you are aware of docker technology you you know why we need docker file right so docker file is used to build your images so that is why we need our docker file so if you do not know docker let me know in the comment so if you want to learn docker i can make a tutorial out of uh, for your docker as well okay so comment down below if you want to uh, you know hear me okay so we need docker file there and we also need jenkins pipeline for automation if you see this architecture so this jenkins this boss is the one who is going to do everything right he's going to pull the code he's going to build the uh, image and he's going to push that image so everything is uh, done by him so he's the boss here right so we need to have that so let us also do that and main thing we need to also have a docker hub account so I'll, I'll show you how to create a docker hub account in the coming videos so it will it's going to be a lengthy video so what i'm thinking is to divide this entire you uh, know project into small chunks so that you can also watch every day and you can also learn right so that is what i'm trying to do first things first we need to have a ubuntu server with jenkins and docker installed on it so if you do not know how to do it i'm going to make a separate tutorial for this also okay so don't worry about it so if you want to get the same code that i'm using you can find it in the github repository i'm giving that link here right so this is what we have in our repository so basically we have the application file we have the jenkins file we have the docker file we have the template everything is ready we we are just waiting to deploy this code right so but before that i'm going to explain step by step bear with me watch this video till the very end so this is a simple uh, video but after this i'm going to bet you that you are you will be eligible you you gain the knowledge so much that you can go and deploy any type of application 
okay any type of application using this uh, architecture okay i'm sure about that okay just concentrate for this video and you will be able to do it on yourself okay so these are the things that i have in my repository you can get it here i will also add the link to this documentation in the description box below so that you can also go and follow these steps okay so next steps to follow we are going to follow these steps step one for actually the step one is to deploy the code that you saw in the uh, github repository in your local machine and test if everything is working fine or not right so i've already done that my application code is working fine so what i'm doing as a devops engineer i'm directly going and deploying this code on a server okay so this is not going to work in the industry right so you will have to get the code from your dev developer and you will have, have to see if everything is working fine if there is any error that you're getting if this if this works on all the platform you need to check that and then go ahead and deploy it on a server okay so those things you will have to take care but right now as that is going to take a long uh, process so what i've done is i'm directly going ahead and deploying it on our ec2 server okay let's see this step one so what i'm trying to do is i'll cover step one in this video i'll cover step two in the next video and step three in the the next video okay so in that way you will be also uh, not confused right so the step two would be to containerize this application using the docker container and see if it is working fine so if everything is working fine then what we can do we can go ahead uh, go a step forward right and automate this entire thing so automate using jenkins ci cd pipeline okay we are also going to do that in the third video okay so these are the things that we have let's concentrate only on the first step right now okay in this video we are going to do the step one of this one what is step one to deploy the sample application on ec2 server and test if it is working fine for that what you need you need to create an ubuntu ec2 instance okay i've already created an ubuntu instance here if you see this is the ubuntu instance let me zoom in a bit okay so this is my ubuntu server so this is the instance id and the state is running if you want to see the platform if you see here it is ubuntu right so we have got a public ip address so i will be able to log into this ubuntu server okay first step is done next log into ec2 instance i've i'm using i'm going to use instance connect method click on in connect and go with the instance connect method or you can also use putty or you can also use mobile extreme other third party tools to log into your server that is also fine right so you just have to be logged in that's all so if you do not know how to create an ec2 instance or how to connect to an ec2 instance check out my aws playlist where you will get a lot of tutorials on aws i'm sure that i've also done a tutorial on how to create an ec2 instance and how to log in right so go ahead and watch that then you will be able to create an ec2 instance okay that is fine step two is also done next after logging in what you need to do is you need to clone the application code from the github repo and you need to run that application but before this first check what are the requirements so this is a python application flask is not a, nothing but a, a python module or a python library so we need to check if python is already there or on on our ec2 instance or not so let me go back to my ec2 instance here I've connected via instance connect here so if you see here i've logged in okay now let me go ahead and check if python is installed or not python 3 hyphen hyphen version okay if you see i'm getting a response i have python 3.10.4 installed already so by default your ubuntu server will have python 3 installed you don't have to install on yourself okay we are good here next thing is to install your flask you need to install or download the flask library how to do that you will have to use pip right if uh, let's check if pip is available or not so as we are using python 3 let me check python pip 3 is installed or not okay let me check pip 3 hyphen hyphen version if you see here i don't have pip install it is asking me to install it but before installing what i'll do i'll go ahead and update the system first sudo apt get update 
let me update the system first later on i'm i'm going to install the pip okay let me copy this also if in case i need it later okay i'm copying a pip 3 uh, the command that is used to install pip okay let me clear the screen now let me paste the command to install pip sudo apt install python 3 pip okay let me hit enter it is asking whether you want to download it i say yes so it is installing pip for me right now okay let's give it a minute Let me hit enter. All right, now it is installed. Let me clear the screen. Let me check once again if pip is installed or not. Pip 3 version, right? We are getting a response saying pip 22.0.2 .2 is installed. Okay, so we are good. Next thing, as we saw in the document, we need to clone the repository that we have, right? So this is the repository. So first I'll go to code, I'll copy the link. I'll go back to my EC2. I'll just say git. Let's check first if we have git installed or not, right? Git hyphen hyphen version because without git, you cannot clone the repository. Yeah, we have git installed. So by default, your Ubuntu machine comes with a uh, git installation. Okay. So next, let me clone that git clone. To clone the repository, we have a command called git clone and you need to paste in your HTTPS okay HTTPS link let me hit enter if you see here it has cloned the repository so if you see here it is saying done okay let me check if we have that file here I'll just type in ls LRT if you see here we have docker flask demo this is the repository name right so let me go back here and let me cd into it cd docker and let me type in ls LRT now if you see we have all these things right now right so now what i'll do i'll just run this application app.py okay so the next step is to run our application so i'll just say so to run your python application what do you need to do you just need to type in python 3 and you will have to just give you the application name so i'll just say app.py let me hit enter okay it says if you see here you are getting an error saying from flask import flask is module not found error right so if you see we have not downloaded flask itself right so we just downloaded pip but we forgot to download flask right so to download flask you just need to type in pip pip3 okay install flask let me hit enter okay now we are good we if you see here successfully installed flask right so let me clear my screen once again and let me run the application right now if you run the application now you will not get an error right so if you see here this application is running on 127.0.0.1 and with 8080 is the port number so this is a local host so if you just go back to your ec2 instance and get the public ip of your ec2 and open it copy and paste that with the port 8080 on your uh, web so web browser you would be getting a response if you are not getting a response then that means you have not allowed port 8080 on this particular security group if you do not allow there is a there is something blocking right so let me go and check if i have allowed in the security group or not right let me come here let me edit inbound rules. If you see here, I only allowed HTTP, HTTPS and SSH, but I have not allowed port 8080. So that is what your application is using, right? So what I'll do, I'll now go ahead and allow that port. I'll just click on add rule. I'll just say custom TCP and I'll give my port as 8080. Okay. And I'll allow from everywhere. Okay. I'll just say save rules. 
now if you go ahead and refresh your application that should work right so let me go back to my application i'll just refresh this page and you will see a beautiful page which says hello monk in cloud right so this completes our step one we have just deployed our application on an ec2 instance which is very simple step right so we have completed the step one next the step two would be to containerize this application on by using docker container and run that container and see if we get the same response so remember this response whatever you are getting uh, you are getting hello a monk in cloud so this is running on port 8080 so when you containerize this application what you need to get is you need to get the same code or same application web application when you containerize it also right so let us do that step two in the next video so wait till uh, that and we'll be able to achieve that or not we'll see in the next video okay hope you enjoyed learning alongside with me if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing because i've noticed that 98 percent of my channel viewers haven't subscribed to the channel so please please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i'll see you in the next one